when you come in here, you come into a courtyard, so you're still out. And in that outdoors, you see an, two strange buildings in a way. If you then go indoors in the first of the gallery spaces, you see there's a blue carpet, sort of office type carpet, slightly on the cheap side, but not quite, in a building that is definitely not an office building, but is something else, something more domestic, something that has to do with, that seems to be lived in, but still has other elements that are not put together in a way like in a living room. It is intimate, but at the same time not fully understandable. Uh, there's a table, tables are understandable. There is a shelf, shelves are understandable. But the things on the shelves are also in themselves natural, but they normally maybe don't stand on shelves like that. There is a vacuum cleaner a little bit further in, a blue, beautiful, simple, at the same time, vacuum cleaner. Lin Kit was trained as a painter at the Hong Kong Chinese University. Uh, around that time, he started to move away from how we, at least how we see paintings, you know, um, in a traditional sense. So he no longer used canvas and stretcher. Uh, instead, he started to actually paint on everyday fabrics, you know, and those fabrics were later on being used as tablecloths or curtains or shower curtains even. Um, and actually, most of these fabrics, you know, they are just lines and squares. And, and, you know, through that sort of repetitive process of painting those lines, he was actually trying to, to document time and emotion through that. Again, started to move away from that, you know, expanded his horizon a little bit, you know. So he sort of moved towards building installations. And in a way, he liked to call them settings, actually. And these so-called settings are often consisted of um, paintings, moving images, um, performances, you know, um, and ready-made objects, actually. That is actually a f fairly large component of his practice. Yu-Yu is the most real, but it's a bit of a space. There's a bit of a space in it. 好似一語相關咁嘅，誒、呃，好似照鏡咁咯，即係你對住塊鏡話你，咁其實係你講緊你自己咯。咁呢個係慢慢之後先成型嘅，但係起碼最初決定嗰陣時，我諗係咯，我幾中意佢有啲空泛，但係好實在有啲嘢，我唔知佢係啲乜，但係覺得佢好實在咯。咁呢樣嘢我諗係貫穿咗成個展覽嘅。When you're here in this courtyard, of course, you're very much in Venice also. You can see the water glittering in the canal, actually, when you look at the other end of the courtyard. And you can hear the sounds that are actually, Venice has a particular type of sound, which is different from another city. And of course, this also sort of colors everything that Lee Kitts makes here. It's not exactly the same work as when he shows in Taipei or in Hong Kong or in New York for that say. And I think this is a really interesting aspect of it, how his work actually is colored by and is, is prepared to sort of receive the atmosphere of the place. Just like he receives, it receives in a way your gaze also, the way you look at things. It's very open, but yet, and that's another aspect of his work, extremely precise. It's another of his paradoxes in a way. It's a work that seems open, loose, casual, but there's an incredible precision in everything, the relationships, the colors, the choices. I think if this work is compared to the past or the past work, I think it's very important to do the space and the space. But it's not related to the region itself. At the same time, I think it's more difficult to find a lot of common things. Because it's possible, but it's not possible. 
比較有意識嘅去揾呢啲嘢出嚟。而佢成個展覽本身，我諗因因為個團隊本身。同我合作嘅方法，我諗佢可以容許到成件事好逐逐啲逐啲咁出現。誒、呃，其實有啲似畫緊張好大嘅畫咯。誒、呃，我諗唯一一個好大嘅分別，真係好明顯對於我自己嚟講嘅分別就係、是，可能呢個展覽會比較極端嘅，喺個情緒上面又好，或者係某一啲我諗同埋做嘅時候諗嘅字眼，可能係嗰啲字眼我以前係唔會。想象到嘅，佢趨向比較極端嘅。Certain cases, he was he probably look at himself as an object. So that I think you know for him, the the space has to have that function that is breathing on a daily basis. So you know when people enter into the space, they would feel something else as well. And、um, And, that's, and, and hopefully that's what we, we've done as well with it.